a team of croc wranglers go to work. Capturing this 3.7 metre saltwater crocodile named King Charles. We're doing AI experimentation again. It's been a couple of years now since we did our last experiments and they've come back for round two. The trial with scientists from University of Queensland is being conducted at this crocodile farm outside of Rockhampton. To develop an artificial insemination program for crocodiles, to be able to learn how to collect the semen sample, to preserve it, and then to put it back into the female to produce fertilised eggs. In the lab, the team is looking at the fertility and genetics of each male. All right, guys, that was a pretty good collection. What do we get? Four out of the samples and look good? The croc industry is worth millions of dollars in Australia, renowned for producing high-quality crocodile skins that cater to the luxury fashion market, as well as meat and other by-products. The AI technology is a game-changer for farmers. It was a world first study when it first came through uh, and it, it's a lot to do with the conservation of critically endangered animals uh, but if it can be utilised in the farming industry as well, I mean it's just killing two birds with one stone. Just like beef breeding programs, researchers are optimistic. In alligators in the, in the States, they have been quite successful at doing artificial insemination and they've produced a number of offspring that way. So I'm, I'm confident we'll get it to work. Aaron Kelly, ABC News.